Sino magre-regalo sa'yo ng GPU ngayong Pasko? It should be you. The best present is the one from me to me. But is now the best time to buy. This is Price Watch, our monthly video where we collect data from the four largest PC retail stores in the country and we track the pricing trends for GPUs and CPUs. So based on prices now, compared to the historical data, we can come up with a objective assessment, medyo may basis naman sa data, if now is the best time to buy. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation, activation codes. Code. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sudden depress ako. But now, I found a love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Alright, I said last month that December or the holidays are not a good time to expect discounts and a little bit the data has made a liar out of me. You'll see that in the deep dive first shop but you can also see it here. Ito muna yung easy to look at one number so you can just compare the average of the four shops so you can get a ballpark on what a price of a component should be. So for this month, yung 1650 bumaba rather dramatically, mga 600 pesos, so that's almost 10%. 3050 also went down by quite a lot, around 800 pesos. Slight increase for the 3060. 4060 went down. And you notice that the 3060 and 4060 are still neck and neck. That shouldn't be the case. The 4060 should be cheaper than the 3060. But it's good that nandito na sila ngayon. Like around 18,000, 19,000. Yun dapat yung presyo ng 4060. The 3060 should be lower pa than that. And this is the 3060 12GB because that's the only variant that we track. 4070 slightly cheaper, around 700 pesos. 4080 went up slightly and the 4090 went up rather dramatically from 111k to 126k. Again, we always get the cheapest prices of that particular card or that particular CPU. So yung average cheapest price among the four stores for a 4090 was 126,000 compared to 111,000 last month. And this is also what we kind of see in our own shop. We can still get 4090s, pero yung natitira na lang yung medyo mahal na brands, yung medyo mahal na variants nila. Relatively affordable brands, like colorful, out of stock na nung 4090. So there is a tightening of the GPU market, at least on the high end. And you can see that also even with the AMD cards. And speaking of AMD cards, itong 6600, sobrang labo nito. Actually, the main reason why the price shot up so much there was one store that has it at a super expensive price. And we'll do that. We'll see it in the deep dive later. 7700 XT went down by around 1,400 pesos. So not bad. And in the 7900 XTX, even though it is hard to find now, bumaba pa rin. It's the second month in a row na bumaba yung GPU na to. In fact, the only better performing GPU in terms of pababa na price is yung 3050. Which, for three months straight, so ever since October, I've been color coding it. Did it go up or down based on the previous month? Itong 3050 has been on a slide, and if you've been following the latest hardware news, the 3050, at least in this variant, is probably going to get discontinued. Although, may cheese miss na may magpapalit na ibang variant. I don't know, I haven't really followed that. The 3050 is not the best card. Even for its price point, it 
nadadala lang kasi Nvidia card siya. There's you know, for a lot of people there's still a lot of oh Nvidia so I guess okay naman and I'll just pay for it even though the price is not that great. For the CPUs, these are always less volatile than GPUs. No change in the price of the 7950X, although it is hard to find. So I think this is only based on one or two shops. The 7800X 3D actually went up slightly. Same with the 7600X. And the uh, 5600X, which just a slight price increase. But it is still a very popular CPU. The AM4 5000 series, still very popular for new buyers, even for those not upgrading, yung mga gumagawa talaga ng full rigs na bago, the 5000 series is still very popular. The 5600G in particular is also very popular still. Nice price decrease of around 400, 500 pesos. I have not been able to find any shop for the past three months or so. This one was an outlier. Na may Ryzen 5 3600, so it might be time to retire this particular CPU from our roundup. On to Intel, the 3900K went down in price. I was thinking whether I should change this with the 4900K since the 14th gen came out last month. But, you know, the 4900K isn't that far apart from the 3900K, both in terms of performance and in price. So I'm thinking we'll just keep the 3900K and then add to the Intel CPUs being tracked when the 15th gen comes out. The 15th gen does use a new platform. So 12, 13, 14, they all use the same platform, socket, uh, LGA 1700. But the 15th gen, we're expecting to see better performance increases because it's a completely different platform. 13600K, price drop slightly. And it has been dropping actually since July. Every month since July, pa will buy price. The 12500 actually got a little price increase. I find it a little funny because it is an older CPU. But I think there's still a market. Because 12th, 13th, even a little bit 14th, these are kalayo in terms of performance, generally speaking. So, did the data make a liar out of me? Because I said last month na hindi uso magpa deep discounts, yung mga flush out sales, holiday discount sales for computer parts because we do have the data stretching all the way to last Christmas. We started Price Watch last October 2022. So this is December and then this is the first week of January. So we do have the data to compare. And I mentioned last episode na based on the data we have, hindi uso yung mga large discounts. And that is still true. Even though prices have gone down slightly for a lot of the components that we've seen, hindi malaki yung mga price drops. Sometimes several hundred. Relatively, thousand plus. Medyo okay na yun, especially for the lower-end cards. So there are a bit of good deals, pero nothing spectacular. Hindi tayo mahilig sa mga Black Friday deals na sobrang laki ng discount. And speaking as a small retailer, I don't think the retailers can afford it, to be honest. The margins are already pretty small as they are. You notice the ones na mahilig mag deep discount, yung mga large shops, because they can get away. Their margins are probably higher because they bought in bulk, so they can afford to reduce the prices. So the per shop deep dive wedge, if you can figure out who wedge is, uh, across the board except for the 3060, had a price decrease. So blue means na bumabasha for compared to last month, except for the 3060, which is. A little high. Mas mura pa nga yung 4060 nila, which again shouldn't be the case. They do have a good price in the 4090 at 108k. But wedge is the reason that sobrang mahal yung 6600. <laughs> it's like it's like double the price. Let's jump a little bit to wash. There are only two shops that have the 6600 wedge and wash. And wash has it at 12,000. Wedge has it for almost double the price at 23,000, which is bonkers. It's crazy. The 6600 is a good card, all the more so because when it was still readily available, the price really dropped. But now, I, I, don't know what, I don't know what Wedge is trying to do. I mean, you add a little bit more and then you can get, uh, well, okay, relatively a bit more. But in absolute peso terms, you just add a little bit more and you get the 7700 XT. So 
I, I don't know where this price came from. But the NVIDIA GPUs of Wedge are, you know, well-priced. They, they, they have dropped in price and they are well-priced. Roy, 60.50 went up, 30.50 went down. Same, still same price for 30.60. And price increase for the 40.60 and the 40.70. The cheapest 40.90 they have is the ROG Strix, which is not that cheap. And that is the same situation with Wash. Roy has none of the AMD GPUs that we track. Also, Roy also has pretty bad CPU inventory, to be honest. <laughs> we'll get to him later. Although he's consistently bad with CPU inventory and with... Oh, well, actually, Roy was pretty good last month, actually. They, it was all complete with AMD cards. So it's interesting. No ubos na ba? And they can't restock. Um, which is kind of the story for AMD cards. A lot of people ask, how come we don't have... In general, bakit hindi ganun ko available yung AMD cards dito sa atin. I had one customer who asked me, why is that the case? Tapos tinanong ko sa inyo yung kaibigan niya sa Thailand. Tapos yung sa Thailand, ang dami niyong options for AMD cards. I really think it's like a chicken and an egg thing. Retailers don't think that there's that big of a market, so they only buy a couple. And then, so people lose interest in AMD because they see na konti lang yung mga available options. So it's kind of like a chicken and an egg thing. But to be fair to Roy, he did have last month. I guess uh, he's a happy reseller because he is sold out now. Joker price decrease for three of his NVIDIA cards, but a price increase for the 4080. Much more expensive than the 4080 from Wedge and even more expensive than the 4080 from Wash. Joker also does not have any AMD cards. Which brings us to Wash, which has four NVIDIA GPUs on price decreases and two with a price increase again towards the upper end of the market with the 4080 and the 4090. At least Wash, though, has two AMD cards, but not the top of the line of AMD, the 7900 XTX. So these are some of the largest, if not the four largest PC retailers in the country, but even they sometimes have trouble keeping stock of items in general. I mean, you would think all retailers would have the 7900 XTX, all large retailers. We don't have, but we have the 700 XT. Moving on to CPUs, they are less volatile than GPUs. Although price increases from Wedge for three of the AMD CPUs, but a price drop on the crowd favorite 5600G. Not much movement from Roy, although not much stock either. Same with Joker. Doesn't suck a lot of, or about half of the AMD CPUs that we follow. Although price decreased with the 5600G, but Roy still has the cheapest one. Well, actually, Wash has the cheapest one, and he had it even since last month. And Wash has price decreases and no price increases for his CPUs that we track. So these are the average prices. This is the data that we insert here dito sa summary. So there are some holiday discounts, but again, the price decreases aren't substantial for a lot of the components. May counting several hundred, paminsan thousand plus, but overall, it, it's not super enticing. And in fact, on the higher end, either you can't find the card or the cards that are available are quite pricey. Tumaas pa nga yung presyo nila. So my advice for this month would be if you can wait, wait. Let's let supplies come back in so that prices can drop back down. You know, it's, it's a supply and demand thing. The more na medyo humihigpit yung supply, syempre umakit yung price. So if you can wait, I would wait. But if you can't wait, then go ahead. You know, do your research, then pull the trigger, and then forget about what price you got it at. And just enjoy the component that you bought. And with that, that's the last Price Watch episode for 2023. Let's see what 2024 has for us, whether we will see better prices and a bit more rationality in the market. Yung nga, I don't understand how the 6600 from one retailer is almost double the price compared to another retailer. I still don't understand how the 3060 is more expensive than the 4060. So sometimes it's, it's, uh, the market doesn't act rationally, but we'll see how that goes next year. Thanks for watching.
Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent table management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.